At six breaking news right now. This is new video just coming into the newsroom of what some are calling a catastrophic tornado that has struck Little Rock, Arkansas. You can see how huge the tornado was as it pushed its way through the area. And some new images here also out of Little Rock showing the trail of destruction left behind. Trees are down, roofs ripped off of buildings. You can see the impact. Trees uprooted there. All this destruction in this community. Right now, there are more than 70,000 customers without power across the state. And that storm system is heading right toward Metro Atlanta. Our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb, is timing out everything you need to know. Chris? Uh, this is a major severe weather outbreak that's happening right now. You just saw the video out of Arkansas, but this extends up into Ohio, where we have another outbreak of tornadoes there as well. In fact, the tornado watch that's in effect in Ohio is what's called a PDS. A in, in Iowa actually is a PDS a tornado watch, which means particularly dangerous situation there. And this is proving to be a particularly dangerous situation. We're watching these storms very closely as they get closer to Chicago right now. These nearing St. Louis. These are now moving into the Memphis area and look how this is moving toward the east. We are right here in Atlanta and you can see how these storms are moving our way. Here's the deal. The main severe weather threat tonight is going to be out to the west. There are two spots where there's a level five of five risk up in Iowa, also into parts of Arkansas, moving into Mississippi and into western parts of Tennessee, and then a large level four risk covering a big area just to our west. As these storms move our way, yes, they are going to weaken somewhat. However, some of these as they're weakening will still hold together to give parts of northwest Georgia the threat for some damaging winds, maybe some isolated tornadoes. This would be early in the morning. We're talking three, four, five o'clock in the morning there in northwest Georgia and then moving into the metro Atlanta area where we have a level one risk where we do think the tornado risk will be going down there, but still the potential for some damaging winds and heavy rain along that line for the early morning hours. It'll move out quickly. We'll clear out during the day tomorrow, but the winds will still be strong behind the system with a wind advisory in effect. We'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. All right, Chris, we'll see you in a couple of minutes. You know, as this system moves our way, stay weather aware. Right now, you can download the 11 Alive app and take Chris's forecast wherever you go. That includes live radar and alerts for severe weather in your neighborhood.